Good morning, everyone. Welcome to your daily reading. I'm sorry I didn't get to you yesterday, but I'm going to get to you today. This is the daily reading for today, Thursday, June 6, 2019. Hope everyone is doing well. We're using the Bone Fire Tarot deck today. It's going to be a little bit of a shorter reading. Let's see what's going on for today. This is for all signs, all signs that may be watching. Okay, what are the most important messages and energies you'd like to share with the collective for today, Spirit? Thursday, June 6, 2019. What do we need to know? Thursday, June 6, 2019. What do we need to know? Let's get three shuffles in. So don't blink, because this is going to be a fast reading. We have the King of Cups in reverse, the Six of Cups in reverse, and the Ace of Swords. Underneath the deck, we have the Four of Swords. So the underlying theme or challenge of this reading, um, we have a Libra energy. We have uh, Cancerian energy, Pisces energy. Mm, I'm seeing mostly Pisces here. Yeah, Pisces, 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 Cancer, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So air signs, water signs. If you're an air sign or water sign watching, pay attention. But if you're any other sign watching, also pay attention. Uh, the underlying theme or challenge of this day is someone who needs to take a break, needs a rest. Dear Lord, please put my headphones on and give me a hot bath. Healing. There's healing here. We have the, um, I thought I saw it. Oh, yeah. There's the, it reminds me of the, um, what is it? The Rod of Escapius, which is the, for medical attention. Someone needs medical attention, possibly. But mostly relaxation. Someone needs to take a chill pill. If you're a water sign watching, uh, specifically a male, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, I'm seeing someone here who has <clears throat> emotionally unavailable, has maybe some intense negative emotions. Um, I'm seeing someone who's also possibly stressed out or is sweating a lot. <laughs> I don't know why I'm reading that as sweat. Yeah, they're sweating it hard. Um, there's also here with the Six of Cups, this is the Soulmate card, one of the Soulmate cards. Um, someone can be bitter about what happened in the past or is holding a grudge. Okay, but I do feel like there's going to be some communication today or at least um, getting to the truth. Someone is getting to the truth here. Someone sees something for what it is. We have got the eyes wide open here, the third eye. I'm thinking of this as a third eye. Um, yeah, cutting something, slicing something open, you know. So if we're slicing something open, we're seeing what's inside. We're getting down to the brass tacks, right? Um, but this can in general be, I'm seeing a male water sign here who, or has intense negative emotions. They can be emotionally hardened, emotionally unavailable. And it has to do with something that happened in the past. They're very much stuck in the past. So this Ace of Swords is a welcome, welcome sign, actually. Um, I feel like... Either they need to communicate or there's some communication coming in here. Um, this can also be someone who is, you know, cutting ties with the past and uh, or realizing that maybe taking a break is the best thing to do. Taking a rest um, or speaking your truth, you know. So, interesting. Um, I'm not going to say it's my favorite reading, but... I suppose if you're a water sign watching and you, and you resonate with any of this, of course it could be any other sign in the zodiac, but I'm seeing, I definitely think Pisces and um, Cancer Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius coming through today. We're going to pull you a card from the Ancient Animal Wisdom deck. What, do, what else do we need to know about today, please? Thursday, June 6th, 2019. 
a lot of uh, planets have just moved into Cancer as of yesterday and possibly the day before. So, something to keep in mind. Oh, interesting. So, I don't know if you guys, if you guys have been watching um, this channel over the last six or seven days, you know that this King of Cups card keeps coming out for me in these readings. Not just for me, but for the collective. Um, so I really feel like if there's a water sign out there watching, um, this, this reading is definitely for you. Especially if you are, a, for example, a Pisces male watching. But look at this. The lilac breasted roller came out again. Uh, elephant and black mamba snake. So elephant and monkey have come out also in the past. Um, but lilac breasted roller came out the other day. And this was really... Oh, it's such a beautiful energy. So vibrant. I remember this card was about reconciliation. It was about reconciliation. So this could be about maybe a reconciliation that still hasn't happened yet or is pending. Um, we also have elephant, elephant here, which is about compassion as well and forgiveness. Um, let us take the Black Mamba Snake, though, because that is a new one. It's a little bit of a different energy. And I was seeing some of these purples and lilacs coming through. You know, it reminds me of the crown chakra, the third eye chakra. We're getting pretty high up in the chakras there. So Black Mama Snake, or Joka, death of old ways, death of old ways. So Snake is bringing you an opportunity to let go of old habits and beliefs that do not serve you anymore. What do you need to let go of to become who you are born to be? This card could be a signal that it is time to change what is not working. If you choose not to change this now, you may later experience more signs nudging you toward alignment. Life is always giving you confirmations. No matter how they come to you, the universe guides you in the direction of your true self. Be sure to listen to the message. Snake cautions you not to step in the same river twice. This is about not repeating our errors, learning from our errors. Life is a forward movement. See this seize this opportunity to reclaim your innocence. Ace of Swords. Cutting away anything that doesn't serve us, right? This includes something that maybe we're tempted to do, we're thinking about doing. The past, ties to the past, holding on to someone that we don't need any more, not to say that we're discarding people, but um, there's a need here for someone to take a break, whether that's from a relationship, a way of doing something, and learn from our mistakes. Okay, Remember that saying, once bitten, twice shy. Um, if you're thinking about doing something or you're tired of something happening over and over again, now's the time to stop that pattern from reoccurring, right? All right, guys. Well, I hope that today is a good day for you. I hope that you enjoy this reading. Like, share, comment, subscribe. You know how to do it. And if any of you would like to book a private reading with me, my information is below in the description. I told you this was going to be a fast reading. <laughs> Have a wonderful day, guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Oh, and this was the last reading in the series for the daily readings. I do seven in a row, so the next uh, thing coming out for me will likely be a weekly reading. Great.